Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah. Ve salatu vesselamu ala Resulillah. Ve ala alihi ve ashabi ecma'in. Welcome back our dear viewers, brothers and sisters. <coughs> we were mentioning about, uh, uh, we are continuing with our episodes uh, about the significance and importance that are found in the first 10 days of the month of the Hijjah. Uh, and also to uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, these also are the days that Prophet Musa alayhi salam fasted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he appointed Prophet Musa alayhi salam, when Musa alayhi salam was appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a prophet and given the book of Tawrat to go and preach about Islam, about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, before that, Musa alayhi salam was told to fast. Was told for, to fast for 40 days. Allah says the Holy Quran, وَوَعَدْنَا مُوسَى ثَلَاثِينَ يَوْمًا وَوَعَدْنَا مُوسَى ثَلَاثِينَ لَيْلًا وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ فَتَمَّ مِيقَاتُ رَبِّهِ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلًا We told Musa alayhi salam to fast 30 days. ثَلَاثِينَ لَيْلًا We told Musa alayhi salam to fast 30 days. Eh, Mufassirin, they are telling us the 30 days that Musa alayhi salam fasted are in the month of Dhul-Qa'dah. The month of Dhul-Qa'dah, 11th month, among the sacred month of the Islamic calendar. وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ And we increased 10 more days. وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ And we increased 10 more days. These 10 more days that were increased, that Musa alayhi salam fasted, are the first 10 days of the Hijjah, the, the days that we are talking about here. These days that we are in now, brothers and sisters in Islam. وَأَتْمَمْنَاهَا بِعَشْرٍ Musa alayhi salam, Allah added for him 10 more days. Those 10 more days, according to Mufassirin, are the, the first 10 days of the month of the Hijjah. فَتَمَّ مِقَاتُ رَبِّهِ أَرْبَعِينَ لَيْلًا Then Musa alayhi salam completed the term which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept for him, the 40 days. After the completion of the fasting of 40 days, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa alayhi salam, now you are qualified. That's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed Prophet Musa alayhi salam. And Musa alayhi salam was given the, the, the book of Torah among the four books that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed and he gave to the different prophets. Today also let us mention the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam where Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam is emphasizing and encouraging emphasizing and encouraging to do the amal salih to do a lot of righteous deeds in these first 10 days of the hijjah hadith of ibn abbas hibr al ummah hadith of ibn abbas uh, he was given the nickname he was nicknamed hibr al ummah the ink of the ummah ink of the ummah means the skull of the ummah he narrates the hadith from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he says ma min ayyam ma min ayyam العمل الصالح فيها أحب إلى الله أحب إلى الله من هذه الأيام يعني أيام العشر قالوا يا رسول الله ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله قال ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله إلا إلا رجل خرج بنفسه وماله إلا رجل خرج بنفسه وماله ولم يرجع من ذلك بشيء والخبر عند إمام بخاري هذا حديث عبد الله بن عباس the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, there is no any other days among the days of the year eh, than these days that the righteous deeds are more emphasized. The righteous deeds are more emphasized than the first 10 days of the month of the Hijjah. And the hadith is long. Inshallah, in the coming program, in the coming episode, Inshallah, I'm going to complete the hadith and also share with the viewers uh, the significance of this hadith. سبحانك اللهم وحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك